This is a handwritten Ethiopian magic scroll that dates back to the 19th century from the Tigray region. This particular scroll was made specifically for a woman during pregnancy and depicts an altercation between a demon and Saint Sassinius. This demon is known for killing babies in the womb, and the saint is there to protect both woman and child. This scroll is now displayed in two pieces, but originally was one long scroll that was made out of four pieces of vellum, which was stitched together. The creator of the scroll would have been an ordained priest called Adaptara, who would make these specifically for the owner. The original owner of the scroll is unknown, but according to Dr. De La Marta, an expert on Ethiopian manuscripts, the most recent owner is Walara, the daughter of Michael, one of the seven archangels. To create these scrolls, Adaptara would sacrifice an animal, usually a goat or sheep, and then wash the person in the animal blood as part of the purification process. He would then take pieces of the animal's skin, usually three, and stitch them together to make the vellum. The Daptara would scribe prayers and depict images on the scroll exclusively designed for the owner. Most scrolls were made specifically for a woman. They were to be carried by the owner at all times or placed in their homes. This is the second image on the scroll, and is of two guardian angels, who are often depicted together. Evil eyes border this image in a pattern fashion. These are said to be the evil eyes of the demon. The names of the angels are not exactly known, but are said to be Saint Michael and Saint Gabriel. These guardian angels were thought to protect the pregnant woman and child from sickness and drive demons away. The right hand of the angel is holding a sword, and the left hand is holding a scabbard. The text is a prayer which is written in Gis, the literary language of Ethiopia. Bibles, magical texts, stories, and myths were commonly written in this language. The priest created the art of the images and hand wrote the prayers on the scroll. Red and black were common colors to use for the text because of the availability of colors. These Ethiopian magic scrolls were of great importance to the people. They held powers to heal and protect from evil. This particular scroll was made to guard a woman from danger during pregnancy and cure any sickness that may come her way. This was to be placed in homes or carried by the owner at all times. Each image and character played a part on the scroll. The Ethiopian magic scrolls were of religious significance and played a vital role in the lives of the early Ethiopian Christians.